Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is 2 Samuel chapter 10, verses 1 through 8. Now it happened afterwards that the king of the Ammonites died, and Hanan, his son, became king in his place. Then David said, I will show kindness to Hanan, the son of Nahash, just as his father showed kindness to me. So David sent some of his servants to console him concerning his father. But when David's servants came to the land of the Ammonites, the princes of the Ammonites said to Hanan, their lord, Do you think that David is honoring your father because he has sent consolers to you? Has David not sent his servants to you in order to search the city, to spy it out, and overthrow it? So Hanan took David's servants and shaved off half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle as far as their hips and sent them away. When they told it to David, he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly humiliated. And the king said, Stay at Jericho until your beards grow, and then return. Now when the sons of Ammon saw that they had become odious to David, the sons of Ammon sent and hired the Arameans of Beth Rahab and the Arameans of Zobah, twenty thousand foot soldiers, and the king of Maka with one thousand men, and the men of Tob with twelve thousand men. When David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the army, the mighty men, The sons of Ammon came out and drew up in battle array at the entrance of the city, while the Arameans of Zobah and of Rahab and the men of Tob and Maka were by themselves in the field. Hanan, the king of the Ammonites, reacted to misinformation. His father had just died, so King David sent some servants to offer condolences. But Hanan's commanders convinced him that the visitors were spies coming to scope out his land. Without checking whether the accusation was true, he abused and mocked David's servants, which led to a war. We've likely done something similar, though thankfully it didn't lead to battle. Maybe we reacted to a rumor before confirming the information, or perhaps we failed to ask clarifying questions. And at one point or another, most of us have responded too quickly to a situation, striking back like a frightened animal before taking time to consider the godly response. And our reaction probably caused hurt feelings or embarrassment. Yet wisdom instructs those of us who are believers to respond differently. There are countless passages of Scripture discussing the value of wisdom and how to acquire it from God. Spend some time this week looking up a few. Take notes on the ones that resonate most and see if you can find any common themes. Then ask God to teach you how to respond to others more slowly with grace and wisdom.